a 6.5 inches Super AMOLED display, a MediaTek Helio G99 processor that can handle everything from both basic to complex smartphone operations, and a 50 megapixel main camera that has optical image stabilization. Honestly, on paper, the Samsung Galaxy A24 has amazing specifications. But the question is, how does it do in real life situations? Well, that's what we're going to check out in this review of the Samsung Galaxy A24. Hello and welcome to Mobile Tech Gist. My name is Benjamin. Now, starting off with the build quality and design of this phone, if you've seen the Samsung Galaxy A14, the A34 and the A54, then I can tell you that you have also seen the A24. It's just about the same design with three camera rings at the back and a flashlight. And that's because Samsung obviously have decided to keep all their A-series look so much alike. The only difference, however, is in the build quality. And talking about that, for the A24, it is plastic all through, both the sides and the rear. But what you're going to observe is that the rear is super glossy, a nightmare for content creators like us because of how reflective it is. Just like last year, we still have the fingerprint side mounted. And when I tested it out, it looks super responsive and fast. Just that I have a little problem with side mounted fingerprints. And that is most times when you're just holding your phone without the intention of opening it, it keeps scanning your fingers every time it touches the sensor. And then when you're ready to actually open the phone, you get a notification of 15 fingerprint fade attempts and you're just wondering like how. So really, personally, I would have preferred it was on screen like we have in the Techno Camo 20 Pro 4G. Under the phone, you're going to see stereo speaker that produces very nice sounds, whether you're playing games or watching videos on this phone. Though, once again, I would have preferred the stereo speakers are quite close to the Type-C charging port because somehow when you hold this phone and you're playing game with it, you start hearing some muffled sounds because your finger or one of your finger is covering the speakers because of how close it is to the edge of the phone. Now, at the left side of the phone is the SIM card tray that holds two 4G SIM cards and, of course, a space for memory card. And talking about space, the Samsung Galaxy A24 comes with only 128 gig memory space. The 4 gig, 128 gig goes for about 157,000 error. Why the 6 gig, 128 gig memory space goes for 10,000 more, that is about 167,000 error. And then also, this phone has an IP67 rating, and that means splashes of water and dust should not be able to harm it. Now let's talk about the display, which for me is one of the best, if not the best selling point of this smartphone. It has a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display with a full HD plus resolution, that is 1080 by 2340 pixels resolution. It has a 90 hz refresh rate and a 1000 nits of peak brightness. Now what this means is that whether you're scrolling through your Instagram reels or watching videos on YouTube, you're going to always have an amazing experience using this device to view video content. The 1000 nits of peak brightness makes it super comfortable for you to use this device under direct sunlight. And of course, the 90 hz refresh rate just makes switching between applications and other animations on this device to be seamless and smooth. And then also you can decide to reduce it from 90 hertz to 60 hertz if you want to save battery power, but then I wouldn't advise it. So really, if you have the A23 of last year, you'd have noticed the very first improvements of the A24 over the A23. Because last year we had an LCD display, but this time we're not just having an AMOLED, but a super AMOLED display. Now let's talk about performance. The Samsung Galaxy A24 is powered by the MediaTek Helio G99 processor with a Mali G57 GPU. And that's an upgrade when you compare it to what we had last year with the Samsung Galaxy A23 that was powered by the Snapdragon 680 processor with an Adreno 610 GPU. Now a side-by-side -side comparison of these two processors, you just see that the G99 processor is really an improvement as against the Snapdragon 680 of last year. With a Geekbench single core score of 728 and a multi-core score of 1940, you can expect that whatever it is you throw at this smartphone, ranging from basic smartphone operations like surfing the internet, browsing through social media feeds and things like that, to even playing high graphics content on this device can be handled without breaking a sweat. So if you intend to buy this device with the aim of playing high graphics content games on it, trust me, you're covered. In terms of battery, it comes with a 5,000 mAh battery. There is no charger in the pack, as you already know. I was only able to get this with a 5 watt charger because I pre-ordered the phone. And I was able to charge this device using that charger in about an hour and five minutes from zero to 100%. Out of the box, it comes with Android 13, 
with one UI core 5 skin over it. And as usual, Samsung has already promised 3 years Android updates on this device and an extra 4 year security update. So that means if you are buying the device right now, for the next 3 to 4 years, your device is still going to be updated. And really, that is another very good selling point for Samsung phones. The Samsung Galaxy A24 has a 50 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization, a 5 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro cameras. Last year, we had an 8 megapixel selfie camera, but this year, we're having a 13 megapixel selfie cameras. Now, why these statistics are very good on paper, how do they transform to real pictures and videos? Now, pictures taken from this device looks a bit oversaturated and overexposed, if you ask me. But just to let me know what you think about the quality of the pictures in the comment section below. When it comes to video, you can shoot at maximum 1080p at 30 frames per second. And one very important feature you're going to enjoy in the video is the image stabilization. As you can see here, the video looks really stable, even though I was walking through a very busy street. Selfies taken by a 30 megapixel front facing camera looks just about the same. A little bit overexposed if you ask me. But really, when you consider the price point of this device, you really don't have so much to complain about. So if you are thinking of posting the pictures from this device on social media, just ready to do some bit of editing before you can finally post them online. So what are my final thoughts about the Samsung Galaxy A24? All around, it is a great device. It gives you this super AMOLED display that gives this amazing viewing experience if you are consuming media content with it. And also, you have a processor that can be able to handle just about anything that you throw at it. The cameras may not be great in terms of picture taking, but if you're a video person like me, honestly, it does a very amazing job. Another device that comes at this price point is the Techno Camo 20 Pro 4G. So you can see the review I made already right here. While if you want to know much about the A14 and how much of a difference it is from the A24, you may want to see that review over there. Do not forget to subscribe so that you get to see when I eventually compare the A24 to the Techno Camo 20 Pro 4G. And also hit on the bell icon so that you get notified when I drop that video. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.